A day after Asheville's mayor advocates in Washington for help addressing the city's homeless crisis, News 13 has learned of ongoing complaints to police around homeless camps that continue to pop up across the city. This as we learn of a new city response policy that's in the works. News 13's Kimberly King has that story. Here on Hanover Street in West Asheville, residents in this neighborhood tell me they regularly see recurring encampments in wooded areas like this. In speaking with the homeless who are on Asheville streets, one woman tells me she is forced to camp out because she cannot find housing. In South Asheville, behind these retailers off Airport Road, we find a path into the woods hidden from plain view. A worker for one of the retailers showed us the trail that leads to an encampment. Homeless, they say, are still here living under tarps and wooden pallets, making up the space near I-26. Garbage and carts left in the area. News 13 obtained this call for service on a civil disturbance last week near the site. Details confirm a fight, threats of a weapon, specifically a gun during an argument. The narration says a male subject is homeless and sleeps in a car in the parking lot. Farther to the north, off Brevard Road and I-26 in West Asheville, this path leads to a former encampment no longer occupied. Across the street, we met Shanna Olke, who is homeless. We're living in a camp, and we came from California for my boyfriend's ninth Pop's 90th birthday. I miss having a house. Beloved went to them and they said the wait list is two, at least two, three years out. And then uh, Section 8 housing is five to 10 years. Yeah, so it's, it's crazy. I mean. The city of Asheville confirms staff from police, fire, sanitation, the city manager's office, and the homelessness division are working on a new camp response policy, but said no specific details of that plan are yet available. It just seems to get worse and worse with the homeless. Dorothy Harris lives in Buttonwood Court in West Asheville. She says at times she's overwhelmed at what she's seeing unfold. A lot of homeless people laying on the ground, and it's really not nerve-wracking to me. She watched News 13's report on the mayor going to D.C. It's not drugs, it is not mental health. Manheimer and other mayors nationally asking for millions for more housing funding for homeless. If they're planning on building houses for the homeless, they need to push it up some so it can get done quickly. In West Asheville, Kimberly King, News 13.